What's up YouTube? So, I went to the high ground, I made that video, it was all salty, mad and such. So, I said I'd make a follow up after, well, management showed up in the comments. And I went back. I played a few rounds, and I spoke to management. Management informed us that changes are being made to, I gotta read my script, changes are being made to the chronograph station, namely they bought a new chronograph that is easier to work, it's also Ace Tech branded, coincidentally, funny fact, uh, and they say that they have tried to implement more, you know, knowledge in the staff about how to work the chronograph, awesome. Addressed my problem there. Uh, we discussed the attitudes of the employees and agreed that there could be some improvement. Hey employees, if you're all the ones watching this, from the customer, you have a dream job, bro. I know some of you, this might be your first job, you might be in high school, some of you are adults, and y'all are probably not who I'm talking to. But go work food service, try out McDonald's, that is hard and you don't get paid crap for your work and no one cares about you this job is cushy act like it so management knows about that they're on the job awesome uh, during the rounds it should be noted that uh, some stuff went down but the referees spotted it they addressed the situation. They took action. That's what I wanted. Pay attention to the game. See that maybe, you know, that's a little loud. See that maybe, you know, the rules aren't being followed. Some people are being kind of dicks. Spawn camping. You know who you are. This is not Call of Duty, dude. Those were kids. Why'd you do that? But the rest, they handled it. They saw people acting atrociously, and they addressed it to everyone. They were respectful, but firm. Good job. All I wanted was for you guys to put effort in. You did that. That's an improvement. Steps in the right direction. That makes me happy. Uh, also, trying to promote good sportsmanship was really strong today. And that's excellent. That's what these kids need to see. They need to see how adults act and how you're supposed to be with other people. <sighs> you HPA people over there? Mmm. Why are you like that? Why'd you have, you know what I mean. I'm not gonna go into details. I'm not gonna name names. But y'all know you were wrong. That's, that's messed up. But steps were taken to address that. Moving on. Chronograph station, right numbers, everything was on point. They got that new Ace Tech, uh, the shoot through kind, not, not like the tracer kind. That's for you and me to buy for our guns. And it worked great. Gave good numbers, clear readouts. I could see the screen from where I was standing. Excellent work. Uh, I mean, did every problem get solved 100%? No, oh, man. But with things like this, you can't solve that 100% on the first go. So to see improvement, to have management have treated me like a human being who mattered, that was good. That's what I wanted. Uh, at one point during the, during the games I played, I had an issue with people camping in the spawn, as I mentioned, and I brought it up to a rep, and they, they, they put effort in. They said they would come by, and they did. They were checking out the spawns to make sure that we weren't getting boxed into a situation where it's impossible to play. Like, the, the little kids don't want to go out and just get insta-sprayed straight out of spawn, man. I know, y'all are hard. You're so good at the game, yeah. But maybe don't hurt the little kids like that, you know? And the refs were with me on that. They tried to help. That was good. I complained. They listened. They took action. Excellent. So... I guess what I'm going to say at the end of this is if you've got a problem at High Ground Airsoft, I strongly recommend that you go seek out their management because they will treat you like a human being, they will listen to you, and they will help resolve your problem. 
I made a salty internet video because I didn't feel that that was the case at the time. I see that I was wrong, and I'm happy to be wrong. I am glad that, I think it was Chris, the head manager guy, great dude, good talk, took me aside, didn't do it in an unprofessional public setting. We had our discussion privately and like adults. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'll be back. Now, there were some problems today with some of the players and their attitudes, but that is not High Ground's fault. That is those players' fault for being assholes, right? So I would say that the first video's uh, concerns are addressed, and good job, High Ground. Happy to be wrong. Take it easy, YouTube.